Hey everyone, welcome to Matt's Garage where we show you how to do things by showing you how not to do things. I'm gonna start the teardown of my Dana 20 and I wanna get into this so that if I need to order any parts for it, I can get those ordered. I mean, I know I need the gaskets and seals, but I wanna get a look at the yoke surfaces, the bearings, and see if I need to order everything or just that stuff. So let's get to it. Thing that needs to come off is this housing for the rear output shaft. Why is nothing ever easy, I swear? We'll get there, don't worry. take this cover plate off there's supposed to be a shim behind it and that's what puts preload on that bit see it's got see that pop just right off and there's your shim so make note of that shim it's a bearing race now I've got all the bolts off so stuff should be coming off at this point All right, got some movement there, baby. That is crusty as heck. So what I'm feeling for is how much end plays in this and it's more than I'll bet is allowed. I think this retains the main, the middle shaft there. Note to manufacturers, put a little lip on this stuff, man. Good news here is this actually looks pretty darn decent inside. Next step, drive the intermediate shaft outwards towards the rear of the case with a soft drift and hammer. Okay, that's my intermediate shaft, and there's an O-ring. So, some guys say, oh, there's no O-ring, but you see mine's got an O-ring there. Okay, I see some washers and stuff. Okay. I'm gonna put it down like that. Okay, so here is a thrust washer. I didn't really see how that went in. This washer was on this side with the keyed end here, and this washer's Similar with the keyed end there. I didn't quite see how that fit in. But then inside here, you can see a whole bunch of needle bearings and some washer. And then there's a spacer in there that, spa that spaces one set of needle bearings away from the other. And that's sort of a, a devil to put back in, is my understanding. I've never done it. So I wonder if this must have gone like this in there. All right, okay, so there's three of those. That's what it said. 48 of those. Remove the front output yoke nut, holding the yoke with a large pipe wrench or bench vise. I can do that. This is a one and, a, one and an eighth. And honestly, who wouldn't replace the seal right now? I mean, I appreciate that the instructions are thorough, but come on, guy. All right. Use a soft hammer 
to tap the output shaft to the rear, to the rear, thereby removing the bearing cup from the case. Sweet. There goes that bearing. Right. I would say probably want a new bearing on that one. Oh, it looks okay to me. Being a gear expert and all. Great. So that comes out. That comes out. Cool. Oh, wait. Remove the shift linkage plugs or switches from the top of the front output cap. Front output cap. Remove the what? Cut the safety wire. Using a different set of directions now. I'm going to take the detent balls out of this. I don't know how much tension these springs are under. We're going to find out. Not much, apparently. Loosen the lock screw that retains the shift fork to the rod. And how do I even get something in there? Holy smokes. Here's my assembly. Janky. No slop at all on that drivetrain. Wish me luck, guys. Pfft. Kidding? Who said that was hard? Piece of cake, are you kidding me? I, you know, I can't believe I even said that with one more left to go. I mean, how stupid am I? twice. Okay, hold on. So this shaft with the shorter section goes on the tag side of the body. And this shaft goes on the non-tag side of the body. And F18-6617, are these identical? Identical! So we've got bearing, a bearing race in here behind the seal. So I'll take that seal out. Okay, seal came out. It looks like it comes off. I mean, it's got bolts in it. Schmoo Central, man. Slip fit. Not expected that. So let's slip fit. So we need to measure the end play on this. 20 thousandths. Too much. It's a joke, right? No way. Okay, well, that yoke isn't even tight. I'm not yoking. It never gets old. <laughs> it never, ever gets old. So, given that, let's tighten it down. Well, now there's no end play. I'm just debating whether to bother taking this apart or not. It's so smooth. I mean, it's so smooth. I don't see any issue with it, and I don't... I'm loath to take it apart if it's in good shape, huh? What do you guys think? Nah, forget it. It's Matt's garage. We're taking it apart. Wow, that yoke is super loose. It's my Speedo gear. Shouldn't this spin freely? Or no? No, because it's supposed to spin with the shaft, right? I wonder how that's stopped in there. And in here, you've got a bearing cup, bearing. A seal. Another race. You ever see where the bearing? You ever see where the cage is black? Maybe some bearings just came like that. Oh, this is very interesting. These are Koyo bearings. 
Koyo bearings. That means this has been rebuilt once. Because I don't think they use Japanese bearings. Just taking a guess here. That I don't like that, man. I don't like it when stuff's been rebuilt, you know, because you never know what they did. So you don't know whether you've got like a an example of what it was like when it came from the factory. Other than that, I just got to tap out these, uh, these bearing races. There's one. Two. That's fully disassembled. All right, the last part of this assembly is this gear. This Speedo gear seems pressed on. Uh, press them both off at the same time using the bearing splitter. I've had bad luck when you have two pressed on things back to back, but you know, why should that stop me? All right, that came off actually pretty easily. So that's it. Now I'm fully disassembled. So what did we do today? We disassembled a Dana 20 transfer case. These are in Scouts, Jeeps, Broncos. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, order the uh, Master Dana 20 rebuild kit that comes with all the bearings and races. Uh, you can get that from Tom's Bronco Parts. That's where I'm gonna get it. I'll put a link down below to the part number. Um, one thing to note is above the um, Above the Speedo gear, there's a, a shim pack, and this is what sets your preload or end play on that gear. So make sure you measure that. Man, I wish I could make a living taking stuff apart. I'm really good at that. Putting it back together, eh, not so much.